Hey everyone, welcome back to more Shadow Wars 2. Uh, so we're going to be collecting some Triforce pieces now. Uh, again, the, the endings really only change when you have all 8, so I can get 7 and I'm still okay. So I'll get all the more complicated ones out of the way first. And since I'm starting in this level anyway, let's get this one out. Save me some uh, warping later on. Alright, so luckily the Triforce dungeon is not that far away. Oh yeah, you don't have to worry about light like eating your shield anymore because you can't eat a mirror shield. It's a nice little bonus with that shield. Okay, so this one, what you want to do is reflect the uh, fireball into this corner statue, and you find the Triforce Dungeon. Okay, so level 8 Triforce Dungeon, and just... Like the original Shadow Wars, you actually need meat for this, which luckily I have some. You know, only cost 15 rupees. Ah, wind robes. Goody goody. Well, at least I can use the half tile approach. Really make them position themselves really badly. Although, even if you get hit, you go, like, a couple rooms down. Not that big a deal. Uh, I guess we'll go to the right first. Whole ton of the dongos. This will be fun to handle, huh? Smoke as many now as I can. I got plenty of bombs anyway. It's not that big a deal. And pretty much there are gonna be uh, passages you can go into, lead to various items. This one, not too much, just a bat rope piece to take out. And there's a red potion for you in case you used potions up or never bought a potion. Okay, this room is a bunch of patrons, probably 10 of them, honestly. But, you know, Master Sword kind of is kind of a child's play. Very. We already have a few of them crippled out. Look at how fast you can demolish these Patras. And you wonder why there's only normal statues here. That's kind of odd, but I think in the original Shadow Wars you had to do that. There was like a room with Marble statues you had to go through to reach the boss key. Although I'm not really too sure about that. Well, we have the boss key, but you might as well go to the left. Just might as well scout around this place. Start taking everything out of this place. Huh? Ooh, there's a bunch of blue wizard robes. 
Now, some of the other quests I'm going to be doing uh, that have, like, the normal Zelda rules, this time these have to lose in the game, but... Although, this, at this point, is just kind of... whatever. Mainly because you have the mirror shield. You can just deflect their own stuff back at them, so how much they spam at you. The beauty of the mirror shield. Doesn't matter how many shots get thrown at you, but you can deflect everything back. Okay, this room just went to dark nuts, okay. Or green dark nuts, whatever you want to call them. Not that this is any challenge. Okay, so we had ten main handlers in the room to the right. And, you know, not surprisingly, you'll find a ten supers in this place. Might as well just lay some bombs. Might get lucky and take out a few of them. And, you don't really get that much, you know. Just a map. Okay, so, uh... Alright, these guys all respawned. Yeah, we'll just ignore them. And go up this door. And this room, we got a single... ...headed fire Gleok. Not that big a deal. Pick up a free Triforce piece. Okay, so again, we're gonna clear up as many Triforce dungeons as possible. Just leave one behind so that I can hopefully show both endings in the same part. So I think I can, actually. Alright, the one for, uh, Jawbreak, I'm just gonna leave there because that's a fairly short one to go through. Gonna leave one behind. Might as well take out all the other ones. Again, it doesn't really take that long to go through all this, and you could probably do this on your first run through the area, but again, it's all optional unless you want all the warp points. I'm just doing it now because it's a lot quicker that way. Yeah, I'm just being pretty reckless right now. I'm just gonna try to shove the rocket thing. Again, not that anything really does that much damage to me now. Alright, in case you forgot what you need to open this, you can always use the Lens of Truth. You know, tells you exactly what you need. Alright, so entering this Triforce dungeon, we can now take a look around this place. And again, you pretty much need a step ladder to complete this place because of all these gaps. Uh, I don't think we went left yet, so we might as well take a look to the left. I don't think we get anything for clearing this room, so... Might as well just leave all those guys alone. And same thing as, uh... 
the other Shadow Wars. Well, maybe it wouldn't have this message. Uh, but you actually go back down, you actually enter in a different room. You actually go in the room above. So, you don't need meat for this. And don't touch the bat thing there, because actually if you use your lens, you actually can see what happens. In this case, I would have to do an F6 continue because I'd be completely stuck. This is kind of odd, it's like you just did like a boundary thing. I think you have to push this block. And... Alright, that's kind of odd, but whatever. Alright, so move on up. Uh, this room... I'm not sure what the point of this room was, but... Whatever. Hit some random switch. I did something. And uh, another one of these rooms, huh? More or less just gonna stumble your way through this. Well, at least there's more money in this one. And again, you're gonna need at least a step ladder to get into this room down here, which has a Superman hand button, which normally would be kind of intimidating, but not the case now. And get the boss key. And yet you can go down to these other rooms, but you notice every side is kind of blocked in except for the one on the right. So, obviously that's the side that's gonna have the boss you're gonna have to battle. Kind of trivial at this point, though. Honestly, it doesn't really take that long to drill through these rooms. point. Um, I think if you actually go down, it takes you back down. This is the room with the Patra. There's money in this corner. Might as well pick up that money. Alright, so on to the left, we find a Gleok that is like just whatever. I think he's already dead. Not only is this kind of miniature size levels, it's like the... By this point, you probably have a, enough upgrades that it's just like... bum rushing everything. Well, I'm probably gonna get... I might get one more Triforce piece in this part. Obviously, I'm not gonna try to get four or five in the same part. Uh, that's gonna take a while. You need meat anymore, but it's 15 rupees. Might as well pick it up. Just in case, I don't remember if I need any more. I think you only need three in this in this quest. you walk to these places since I can't warp. 
Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Yet. Okay. There we go. A lot of money right there. 90 rupees. Might as well just load up the extra cash. So we're gonna clear this place up really quick. Shouldn't take too long to get through this. The Triforce dungeon's actually really close to the beginning. It doesn't take you too long to reach it. Because it's actually right in this room. You actually use your lens, you know, find it right there. So, obviously you need the hammer for this. Again, usually it uses the item you find in the dungeon, usually. And, uh... Here's your level 5 equivalent. Again, another miniature version. Now, this is kind of similar, I think, level 8, like the volcano one. So a lot of separate paths to go on, so might as well just scout out everything. And this one, okay, I'm not watch just a... You new land bolus. I'm expecting ten of them. Just kind of uh, explore all the paths. Uh, what's up here? A single Aquamentis that's already dead. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure why the boss key is given for this, but I'm not complaining. Just an Aquamentis and some wall masters. Uh, it's not very well guarded there. And this one just at the map, there's nothing here either. Okay, so... Now we can go to the left, and before it was the boss was a Goma, and same thing, still a Goma. Pretty dead. Since that's just a regular Goma, dies with one gold arrow. And there's your Triforce piece. I mean, literally, it just takes a couple minutes or something. That was fast. Like, literally fast. Okay, so, um... Well... I'm probably gonna leave the, the other two Triforce pieces for the next part because uh, otherwise it'll probably go like 40 minutes or something. So we got three in this part and we'll probably get a couple more in the next part. And we'll go from there. Alright, see you guys later.